Okay, uh, Joseph, thank you. Athlon 300G or an Intel uh, 6400G for office work? Neither. Hello and welcome to Bite Size Tech. I'm your host, Rogue, and today a word from our sponsor, Crypto.com, home of the Visa card that pays up to 8% in rewards and the app that pays you up to 14% annually on your crypto stake. Join more than 10 million users on the world's fastest growing crypto app as you trade with confidence on the world's fastest and most secure crypto exchange. Tech has more information and a special sign up offer at the end of this video. Two cores is stupid. No, I, it's invalid. I, I, I reject that. There's no use case for those chips. I tweeted about it actually, but I was actually really kidding. There is no- Would you do the 11400 or the 10400? Six, oh. six cores. I wouldn't build anything less than six cores in 2021 for any, for any use. The, um, for any use, the people are gonna be sitting in front of windows. Several people have made an argument for like mining machines and stuff. I actually kind of think miners probably should have four cores at this point, but that's a separate conversation that isn't important right now. I tweeted, here it is. Uh, the AMD Athlon 300G is $69 with the promo code, two cores, four thread Zen Plus. <laughs> this is all you need. I was kidding. <laughs> and of course there was a bunch of replies down there. Um, First of all, those chips launched at $49 and they're now $69. Second of all, that's Zen Plus, not even Zen 2 or Zen 3. And third of all, we recently upgraded my mother's computer at home. Oh. My mother had a two core, four thread machine. Woo! My mother, bless her heart, sweet, wonderful woman. I love you, mom. If you're watching, thanks for being an awesome mom. You took good care of me all those years. Two gold stars for mom. Mom gets two gold stars. Mom. All mom, the, mom, all the moms all get the moms. all the moms get two gold stars. It's we upgraded time. her from an i3 4130. Yep. Now that's an older, that's a Haswell chip, but it is two cores, four threads. Mm -hmm. To a Ryzen 5 3600X. What does my mother do? <laughs> Email, Facebook, Twitter. And she looks at pictures and watches YouTube videos. I am willing to bet most people would say, you don't need a Ryzen 5 3600X for that. By the way, yes, she did get 32 gigs of RAM. Of course she did. And a one terabyte NVMe SSD. After using it for a day, she sent me a very lovely message and said, Oh my gosh. She did. She goes, thank you so much. Oh my, my computer is so responsive. I can have multiple tabs open now. I can be, I can, I can like, I can leave my stuff open. My machine is so much nicer to use. These ideas of. Well, she didn't realize how slow it was in being responsive to opening and closing things and, and you know, typing a word document. And, and I fully acknowledge that Chrome has its issues but the internet has evolved. It wasn't that long ago, folks, that the internet was a single core affair. 15 years ago, a Pentium 4 or an Athlon 64 was a one core, one thread chip, mm -hmm. and you could browse the web with that. Yeah. On high speed internet. 15 years ago, we had a cable modem at home that gave us about 100, 150 megabits per second. Yes. And we had a single core machine until 2006 when we got a dual core because single core is stupid. And the internet worked fine, but the internet that existed then is not the internet that exists today. Correct. Web pages today are ridiculously complicated things that take a lot of CPU power to load. They really do. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to give my mom a machine that was amazing today and that would have legs. Yep. Several years from now, when Windows 11 comes out in two, uh, shortly, but she won't upgrade right away. I'm sure her machine will wait a bit. But I don't want her worrying about the next three years. No, she can use it and not have to. So to answer the question, Athlon 3000G or Intel, that's a penny of gold, by the way. The G6400, that's a two-core, four-thread chip. Those shouldn't exist. Yeah. There's no use case for those. And for office work, 
If you're paying people to use a computer, go watch the Boss Upgrade Your Computer Bite Size Tech that I actually just posted a couple days ago. Yep. You are literally throwing your money away. Especially if you are a boss. Go watch that. I spent not quite 20 years, about 17 years, professionally, in the IT consulting and upgrade business for small businesses. The number of companies that I dealt with that didn't want to spend two freaking cents on their computers. They have an office full of employees that they're paying... Yeah, they've got a multi-million dollar annual payroll. Well, don't spoil it for people. They have to go watch it. I do YouTube today because I got sick and tired of... And now you, we're getting it worse. You walk into the freaking <laughs> office and they've got the $5,000 mahogany conference table and the projector and the screen and the fancy chairs and the pretty settings. And they've got 25 employees in there. And when you present them with a proposal to spend 80 to 100 grand to do the first freaking computer upgrade in over five years in their office, and they go, well, that's a lot of money. What's wrong with you? <laughs> this is what it costs to run an office. Are you going to not pay the electric bill or not? Are you, are you going to take the air conditioning out because that's a waste of money? I mean, what, what's, what's wrong with people? I couldn't do it anymore. I got so freaking sick and tired of that nonsense. It costs money to fit an office. The desks cost money. The chairs cost money. The lights cost money. The building costs money. The rent costs money. The air conditioning costs money. The break room with the refrigerator and the microwave and the coffee machine and the water dispenser costs money. It's just part of running a business. Maintaining your technology and computers is part of running a business. Now get your damn checkbook out and shut up. You couldn't actually say that to them. Maybe I should have. What would have happened if I'd actually just said it like that to them? I don't know. And then use backways to back everything up. Oh, God. Don't even <laughs> talk to me about backups. How many of you have a Visa card that pays you up to 8% on every purchase? Crypto.com offers an amazing deal on their Visa card with cash back that is an unbeatable deal. No annual fee, no sign-up fee, no credit checks, no interest payments. It works just like a prepaid debit card, allowing you to spend your money anywhere Visa is accepted. But wait, there's more. Get your Spotify, Netflix, and Amazon Prime subscriptions 100% paid for by Crypto.com. You heard me right. Use your new Crypto Visa card to pay for your subscriptions and get 100% back in rewards. Earning 8% on your new Visa card is awesome, but how would you like to earn up to 14% interest on your crypto holdings? If you're holding crypto for investment, inflation protection, or price speculation, it can be frustrating to feel like your money is just parked. Yes, you really can earn up to 14% annual interest on your crypto paid weekly directly to your account to spend however you like. The interest is paid in the same token that you're holding. So if you have Bitcoin staked, you are in Bitcoin. If you have Ethereum staked, you are in Ethereum, and so on. Flexible terms are offered, including zero lock, so you can withdraw your crypto anytime you like without restrictions, or you can hold for one or three month terms for a higher rate of return. Of course, you can buy, sell, and exchange 100 plus cryptocurrencies with 20 plus fiat currencies using bank transfers or your credit and debit card at true cost. Crypto.com is first and foremost a crypto exchange. There is so much more to explore, I have barely scratched the surface. DeFi features including a private wallet with full control of your private keys, margin and derivatives trading options for advanced traders, crypto credit allows you to borrow against your holdings with no deadlines or credit checks, crypto NFTs allows you to explore the new world of non-fungible tokens, crypto pay allows you to pay any merchant with crypto and you earn up to 10% back in rewards, and that's not even everything they have to offer. If you're looking for the place to be in crypto, use our link in the video description below to sign up today, you'll get a $25 crypto sign up bonus and 30 days of 0% transaction fees on credit and debit card purchases of crypto. It supports the channel and it gets you a great offer to get started in the world of crypto.